Wani fan. Welcome back to the Warzone 3 video for you guys on the channel. Today, we're going to my favorite top 5 SMG loadout metas in Warzone 3, Season 3 right now, guys. Without further ado, shout out to my naughty game, man. I love all support you guys again on the channel. Let's go for 100 likes on today's video. Let's go to hop to these crazy loadouts we got in Warzone. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Party fans, talking about the number five. We got the Ram 9 SMG right now in Warzone Season 3. This thing is still packing a punch and it's still really good. So let's go to hop into it. Party fans, starting with the first attachment for our Ram 9. We got the 50 round mag for this SMG. I just feel like having a little bit of extra ammo is going to come in handy, especially on Rebirth Island. Now, guys, for the underbarrel, we got the DR6 hand stop. This is really good for increasing the aim walking speed and the aim DS ADS speed. For the fire time speeds and the movement speed all together this is really good for this movement speed in general guys for the muzzle we got the l4r flash hider this is really good for controlling that recoil control the horizontal or the vertical hey guys for the stock we got the ultra light stock pad which is really good for movement honestly for this smg build and this weapon it's pretty much a ram 7 but in the smg version and you want to get the most mobility possible out of it hey guys tying this open all together we got the retort 9 grip tape this is really good for gun kick control and recoil control as well so guys listen this is my ram 9 smg SMG build of Warzone 3 right now. This gun is still really good, and none of these are in any particular order, but hey, on to load number four, guys. All right, so with load number four, guys, we got the AMR 9. This is a really good SMG that I feel like is highly underrated. A little bit overrated with some people, but let's go ahead and hop into this one. All right, guys, starting with the first attachment on this weapon, we got the Zen 35 Compensated Flash Hider. This is really good for just staying, you know, off the radar when shooting. You're getting a nice suppressor. So it's going to help you with the vertical and horizontal recoil control as well. Guys, for the barrel, we got the AMR9 Regal Pro Barrel. This is really good for ADS speeds, movement speeds, all around movement. SMGs are going to be really movement heavy in Rebirth Island, and this is going to help you guys out a lot. Now, guys, for the optic, we're going to go with the Jack Glasses optic just because of the fact that you guys get no like know that visual like recoil from like mw2 and warzone 2 that's really not here with this optic now guys for the stock got the demo d50 buffer tube this is really good for just pretty much just no stock i mean really good for movement and you will not notice any of the cons when using this no movement stock build and guys time is open all together we got the 50 round mag because i think having a little bit of extra ammo on this smg is good but also you're gonna have the best movement possible so it won't hurt you but guys my mr9 loadout in warzone season 3 right now listen another good one definitely not one of my favorites yet but the top three in our honorable mention are definitely some of my favorites go on to load number three fam going to load number three guys i got the wsp9 smg this is probably one of my favorite ones in the game just because it feels like a little like nice little nerf smg gun you know i don't know it's a really fun gun to be using a little uzi so let's go to hop this loadout guys starting off the first attachment guys we got the his short light bro this is really good for ads speed sprint speed and you know sprint to fire time speed Pretty much going to be helping you guys out with that movement. So if you guys do have a little bit of sluggish movement, it's going to help you guys out a lot. Guys, for the stock, we got the WSP Factory stock. This is really good for ADS speeds, movement speeds, and sprint speeds, allowing you to be really fast around Rebirth Island. Now, guys, for our next attachment, we got the 40 round mag. This is just really good just so that you have a little bit of extra ammo in the chamber. I know that sometimes, you know, 32 is not enough, 50 is not enough, but 40 is a pretty good middle ground. Now, guys, for the ammunition, we're going to go with these 9mm high grain rounds. And since we didn't choose a barrel before that would correlate to damage range or bullet velocity, this is pretty much making up for the changing of the barrel. So you guys get a faster movement speed, but still get a high TTK. Guys, time open all together we got the dr6 hand stop this is really good for just running around the map super fast and since this gun doesn't really have any of that vertical or horizontal recoil control too much you're not gonna have an issue guys my wsp9 setup right now i'm in war zone 3 listen this one like i said is one of my favorites to be using if it's not the hrm9 but listen let me know what you guys think about the wsp9 right now with the current meta let's go ahead and hop into loading number two guys coming in loading number two guys we got the striker 9 smg which is downright one of my favorites i think it's better than the original striker like the original striker is cool no but this one shoots faster and it's got different patterns this one's definitely the wave to go so let's go and hop into it all right guys start with the first attachment we got the zen 35 compensated flash shot this is really good for controlling that vertical recoil that horizontal recoil but also staying sound around the map especially when shooting now guys for the next attachment we got the striker recon long barrel this is really good for bullet velocity and range pretty much helping you guys out with a faster hit scan so if you guys are on console and you guys are struggling against pc players you're going to get a faster hit scan with this barrel now guys for the next attachment we got the latchman mk2 light 
stocks. This is just really good for like movement speeds, you know, sprint to fire time speeds. SMGs you want to be ideally quickly with anyways, and that's exactly what this stock is going to do. Now right, guys, for our next attention, we got the 50 round mag. I've been testing the 25 round mag, which is downright caca. The 40 round mag is terrible, but the 50 round mag is really just nice to have those extra 10 bullets because you never know when you're going to need it. And with our other attachments, you're still going to be super fast. Now right, guys, for our last attachment, we got the DR6 hand stop on this SMG. This is really good for tying in that, you know, aim down movement speeds, ADS speeds, sprint to fire time speeds, and everything all together because you guys want to be super fast. And this gun reminds me of the Vaznet from MW2 because it has a really nice YY spam effect to it. But guys, this is my MW3 Striker 9 Warzone 3 class up right now. This gun is still melting in this current season. I cannot wait to use this in Rebirth Island. It's going to be amazing. But guys, on to Lodi number one. All right, look, coming to Lodi number one, guys, it is not a surprise. The HRM9 build is still, still beating up Warzone 3 right now. And it's still probably my favorite SMG in the best one, even after the nerf that it recently got. Let's go to hop into this class setup, guys. All right, guys, starting with the first attachment, we got the Zen 35 Compensated Flash Hider. This is really good for just controlling the vertical recoil with the horizontal recoil, but also allowing you to pretty much stay off that radar as much as possible with suppressor. Now, guys, for the next attachment, we got the folding stock. This is really good for actually getting that recoil control and the gun kick control as well with the firing aiming stability. Not that this weapon has a lot of recoil in general because it really doesn't, but having this on helps out a lot. All right, guys, now for our next one, we got the 50 round drum. I like just kind of putting this on the weapon, pretty much keeping, you know, giving you a little bit more ammo. 30 is not enough, 20 is not enough, but 50 is a great sweet spot for this weapon, and you don't notice any movement speed changes or any ADS speed changes as well. Now, right, guys, for our ammunition, we're going to 9mm high grain rounds, solely due to the fact we're not running a barrel that increases bullet velocity or damage range, so it's important we go with these high grain rounds to give you the TTK effects and the damage range effects. Now, right, guys, for the underbarrel, we got the DR6 hand stop. This is really good for aim walking speed and ADS speeds as well, with sprint to fire time speeds and movement speeds. So, guys, wow, that's like a tongue twist. But guys, this is my HRM9 build right now, loaded number one in Warzone 3, Season 3 right now. We do got one more weapon to cover, the honorable mention, which a lot of you guys did not expect me to throw in this video, but we're throwing it in. All right, guys, coming in with the honorable mention, we got the Latrin sub from Warzone 2, the all-reliable MP5. I know a lot of people are saying they haven't been running this. I've been seeing it a lot more in Warzone recently. Let's go ahead and do this class setup. All right, guys, now with the first attachment, we got the L38 Falcon 226 millimeter barrel. This is really good for ADS speeds and movement speeds, allowing you to sprint really fast with our Lockman sub and staying on target. Now, guys, for the stock, we ended up going with the Mirror Recoil 56 factory stock. We ended up choosing this one because, honestly, this one is really good for that recoil control and keep you on target because, especially since we do have that barrel, you're going to need something to kind of counter counteract that barrel now guys for our next attack trip we got the 40 round mag a lot of you guys are gonna ask me why we don't have a 50 on this one that's because the guns in warzone 2 are not really good with these 50 round mags you're gonna be very slow so we end up going with the 40 round for this one for all reliable sake now guys for the ammunition we're going with these nine millimeter high grain rounds from mw3 for increasing our ttk and giving us a better damage range as well allowing us to shoot a lot farther now guys for the under brittle we end up going with the dr6 hand stop barrel just for moving around faster because the mp5 from mw2 to Warzone 2 is not too fast in the hands and putting this in your hands will allow you to move around a lot faster but guys this is my honorable mention the NP5 right now in Warzone 3 before we exit this video I want to give you guys our perks as well because these are very important for every class setup they're all the same so you guys make sure you go in and tune these for every class setup after we got these smoke grenades these sem taxes are lethal for rebirth island we're probably going to be changing those to the throwing knife just here you know rebirth island sakes now for our perks we got the mountaineer because mountaineer is really good pretty much reduces fall damage for perk number two we got the double time so you guys run around a lot of run around the map a lot faster and for a quick fix perk three I've been running this. I've been liking it. I like regenerating my health immediately after I kill somebody and down them. And for, you know, perk number four, I was running flex, but I decided to put ghost down because you know what? A lot of people do spam UAVs in Warzone and I don't let them know where I'm coming from. And having this on actually helps me in those end game circles where I just want to win. But guys, this is my top 10 loadouts in Warzone 3 season three right now. Listen, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, let's go for 100 likes on today's video. Comment down below your favorite class that you saw in today's video. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Dead. I'm dead here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way.